we have a date. And I didn't get to talk about this over the weekend because I was at a lacrosse tournament for my son in uh, Pennsylvania and obviously didn't have access to be able to share my screen and things like this. So I wanted to talk about this. So we have a date for the merge for Ethereum, okay? And if you don't know what the what this is about or what you know what this is, this is a massive big deal for crypto. So if you're like, what are you talking about, Austin? Give me a few minutes. This is a, this is revolutionary, okay? So if even if you're not invested in Ethereum or you don't care about Ethereum, you don't care about owning it, please, please, please stay with me because this is relevant to you. I don't care what coin or token you own. This is massive, okay? Here's why. So we all know that Ethereum is a proof of work. Uh, it's, it's proof of work, right? And we know that it's moving to proof of stake, which is revolutionary. It's going to re it's going to change Ethereum forever. And we've been waiting on it for years. We've been talking about it. We have a date, September nineteenth. September nineteenth is the the line in the proverbial sand that the uh, Ethereum team has given us as far as when that that um, that date is going to happen. Okay. So this is, again, revolutionary. It's revolutionary and a big deal for crypto because it's going to change the entire landscape of crypto. Gas fees will become effectively non-existent. They'll still be there, but dramatically cheaper. Um, and, this is a, and this is a massive step forward because the vast majority of, of DeFi and, and NFT and you know, metaverse and everything in crypto pretty much runs on Ethereum. Yes, there are other blockchains, and I'm a fan of them. You know, Polkadot, Solana, Cardano, etc. Uh, but we all know that Ethereum is the hands down as of right now, right, the leader. And so this this September 19th hard date is a big big deal. Okay, uh, it's good news for crypto, which we frankly need right now. Okay, and so as of the recording of this video, the market has <clears throat> excuse me moved back up over to one trillion. Big big deal. It's been it's been as high as five to six percent today as far as percentage move up and ethereum is obviously the lead story look at ethereum right here on seven day compared to bitcoin up 20 of uh, 29 percent as compared to bitcoin up 7.8 now here's why <clears throat> it's not a flipping it's not a you know ethereum's gonna you know take over uh you know bitcoin or anything like that it's just that Ethereum is the lead story this is the biggest catalyst the biggest deal for ethereum in years this date, the news around this date. Okay, so that's why you see Ethereum running harder, obviously dramatically harder than than uh, Bitcoin. Okay, so again, if even if you don't own Ethereum, you should care because it drives everything else, right? So when Ethereum, we have really massively positive news about Ethereum, and obviously this is it drives everything everything else along with it, which again is good, right? Okay, so that's that. That's the reason you're seeing uh, Ethereum running hard. You're gonna probably continue to see it. I wanna be a little bit of the voice of cautious, of cautious optimism as my, my dad used to say, you know, I'm cautiously optimistic. That's a word, that's a, that's a phrase he used to say. Uh, I want to be that kind of voice in the room because we still have, guys, I don't think we're out of the woods yet is really what I'm trying to say for Ethereum, Bitcoin, and the overall market, okay? Because we still have the Federal Reserve meeting out there on July 26, which is approximately about, uh, what, uh, eight days away again, okay, when that starts and whether or not what the Fed's going to do in reaction to the CPI inflation data report, which we got, which was bad, okay? Now, as of recording this video, uh, we're in the middle of earnings season, so we have a little bit of a decoupling event, in my opinion, where um, the earnings are coming in, Goldman Sachs, B of A, we got Netflix tomorrow, all pretty much bad news, okay? Now, the Dow and the NASDAQ futures are up as of recording this video. Will they stay up as, when the market's open? You know, again, as of recording this video, we will see. But it looks like you know, uh, crypto is decoupling itself from from stocks because it's been they've been lockstep tied together, if you will, kind of a brother sister kind of you know tied together kind of thing. Whatever metaphor works for you. Uh, but I think that we've got some massively positive things going on in crypto that's driving it. We've got retail money coming in. Uh, you can just feel it, right? And that's what we got going on. So that's what's going on with Ethereum. That's why it's running hard. That's why you see there. It's good stuff. That's what I got for you. Have a good one. I'll see you. Go make some money.